free worldwide wireless energy. Death rays, earthquake machines, remote control, and green power. All from the fertile mind of the genius who electrified the world. Now, Nikola Tesla's mad electricity on Modern Marvels. He was a true American hero, but after a while, people forgot about what he did. I believe that he was the most important inventor in human history. Some of his neighbors did think he was absolutely crazy. They thought he was a danger to their community. I think that he had a different version of what the future would look like. He's responsible for the 20th century. For the power to change night into day, thank Nikola Tesla. It's clear there are so many aspects of modern life, everyday life, that is directly influenced or created by Nikola Tesla. His alternating current, or AC, power system paved the way for all of our modern electric conveniences. He's basically responsible for our entire system of electricity, our entire modern world. But tragically, in later years, his brilliance responsible for more than 200 patents, was overshadowed by what some considered madness. He was often seen as sort of the mad scientist who was out of control and would destroy the world when he really wanted to improve the lot of uh, humanity. Because of Tesla, a turn of the switch brings power to our fingertips. Yet the same intellect fanatically rescued injured pigeons was repulsed by women's jewelry and claimed to receive communications from outer space. Our virtues and our failings are inseparable, like force and matter. When they separate, man is no more. Nikola Tesla. At the beginning of the 20th century, Tesla's amazing accomplishments were celebrated. But he died in 1943 at the New Yorker Hotel in this small room, virtually destitute and discredited. As he watched the world he helped create, simply forget him. Nevertheless, the FBI amassed a secret file on Tesla. And when he died, the United States government took charge of his scientific papers. If you listen to everything he talked about, it was so powerful, it was so frightening, it was so terrifying, that they just pounced upon all his possession and whisked them away. What were the powerful and terrifying ideas that may have threatened national security? Were they a madman's rantings or works of genius? There is still a place for Nikola Tesla's contributions. Many people believe that he was actually onto something Maybe it's time to look back and reinvestigate what Tesla was really up to. We know one thing Tesla was up to, wireless energy that could be transmitted around the world. The wireless transmission of power would appear over and over again, even in Tesla's most exotic visions. The key to understanding this remarkable idea was this peculiar yet powerful invention first patented in 1891 by Tesla at age 35, called the Tesla coil. Nothing like it had ever been done before. Think of the Tesla coil as a giant electrical pump. This is an example of a modern day Tesla coil. We're gonna take power from a wall outlet, feed it to the base of the unit, where we're gonna step up the voltage tremendously until it comes out the top. So I'm gonna step back and we're gonna take a look. This Tesla coil steps up standard voltage from a wall outlet at 120 volts to more than 500,000 volts. Imagine electricity flowing in a wire the same way as water pumped through a hose. 
The current can be likened to the flow of water. The voltage can be likened to water pressure. If a nozzle is attached to the hose, the force of the water pressure is dramatically increased, while the flow of water is decreased. A Tesla coil acts in the same way. By passing the current from a small primary coil to a secondary, much larger coil, it steps up the voltage tremendously and reduces the current. This makes the Tesla coil a transformer. Much like firefighters would connect a big hose to a fire hydrant and then use the nozzle to spray that water very far away, Tesla coil does the same thing. Using an enormous Tesla coil, the inventor wanted to pump the Earth and atmosphere full of electric energy. He believed he could use the Earth as a natural conductor of electricity and send power around the world. In essence, the Earth would become a giant electrical outlet. To prove his wildly original theory, Tesla left his home in New York City and began experimenting with wireless power in 1899 at the age of 43 on the windswept prairies of Colorado. He believed that there was some specific frequency at which the Earth could be struck as with a hammer. Tesla believed that the Earth could be rung electrically just as a bell can be rung with a clapper. He constructed a laboratory and tower that soared 80 feet into the air. Inside the barn-like structure was an enormous Tesla coil. For Tesla to be creating these electrical arcs in his laboratory was very unsettling to the people in Colorado because they felt that he was conjuring the work of God. By tapping into the local electric power from Colorado Springs, Tesla's coil produced more than 12 million volts. He often demonstrated his wireless concept by illuminating a phosphorescent bulb while holding it in his hand. When the machine is on, the entire lab is filled with high voltage electricity. I'm gonna grab this fluorescent light and show you what I mean. The Tesla coil outputs electric energy without harming humans, similar to the way transmission towers bombard us with radio waves. What you're seeing is electricity fly through the air from the Tesla coil to the bulb lighting it. That's the essence of Tesla's original idea. He wanted to transmit power globally so that people need only receive it to use it. Tesla claimed his experiments in Colorado were a success and he had achieved the wireless transmission of power, illuminating light bulbs up to one mile away. In addition to pronouncements of his Colorado electrical discoveries, Tesla also made an even more startling claim, that he received messages from outer space. He got a lot of flack when he came back to New York for saying, I've spoken to Mars, I'm talking to Martians. But it's interesting because the ideas that he were using are exactly the ideas that we're using now to send messages out into outer space. We're sending radio waves out into outer space to try to see if anyone's out there. So people back then really had some idea that he might be crazy, but he was actually probably really ahead of his time. Tesla believed he had crossed a threshold and proven he could send power wirelessly. He just had to find more money to build an even bigger transmitter. Tesla returned to the East Coast. On Long Island Sound, in the town of Shoreham, a street sign marks the entrance to a now abandoned and forgotten location. In 1901, based on his Colorado experiments, Tesla began to build his visionary wireless power network here on this site. He called it Wardenclyffe. It was comprised of a laboratory and power plant. Adjacent to it was a tremendous 187-foot tower. Power from the plant was sent to a giant Tesla coil in the tower. Underneath the tower, the inventor sank huge shafts 120 feet into the soil to transmit the electrical current into the earth. 
this was to be the first of many transmitters in a system that would encircle the world with wireless energy. The vast amounts of electricity necessary would come from huge hydroelectric projects. A lot of people thought it was crazy because they couldn't understand what he was seeing and what he was envisioning for the future. He was able to conceive of things that other people weren't. He was a visionary. But even visionaries need money. So in order to convince industrialist J.P. Morgan to invest $150,000 to build Wardenclyffe, Tesla promised the financier the tower would make millions by also broadcasting messages, news, music, and even pictures to any part of the world. This is the original foundation for Tesla's tower. If you look, you can see that it's an eight-sided figure. It had a huge hole down in the ground right in front of where I'm standing, 120 feet down, and a spiral staircase went around it. And then up into the sky, 187 feet was the tower. The tower was attached by huge timbers on bars like this at each of the points along the side foundation walls. It loomed over everything in the area. It was overwhelming when you think of the size and scope of such a huge, huge construction. This is the actual lab and power plant at Wardenclyffe, where Tesla worked for more than four years, trying to develop his wireless concept. It was purchased by a photographic company more than 60 years ago. After remodeling, only a part of the outside lab remains. Really getting to go inside, this is All so right, exciting. This door hasn't been open in a while. Although the building hasn't been used in more than a decade, the owners agreed to open the doors to Modern Marvels for a rare look inside. Wow. Oh, this is incredible. This is amazing to be in here where Tesla worked, where he spent time with his assistants. It's just amazing that over 100 years ago, Tesla was walking in these very walls. His equipment was here. His dreams were alive. He was looking forward to what he hoped would be a very glorious future. In part, it was timing that ultimately doomed Wardenclyffe. On December 12, 1901, as Tesla was working at his wireless network, Guglielmo Marconi beat him to the punch and successfully transmitted a radio signal across the Atlantic. While Marconi's achievement was indeed a first, in reality, he used 17 of Tesla's patents to accomplish this feat. Tesla was not only forgotten as the father of radio, Marconi's transmission sealed the fate of Wardenclyffe. Morgan was no longer interested in supporting Tesla's work here. Marconi already did it. Why should he keep supporting Tesla? And of course, Tesla's plan was greater than Morgan knew. Tesla could see reason to continue the funding and continue the work, but it wasn't Morgan's plan. So in 1905, while still under construction and after some amazing electrical displays, the Wardenclyffe project was abandoned. And later, 